live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Dell EMC World. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Keith Townsend. We are joined by Karen Quintos. She is the Chief Customer Officer at Dell, and Ben Clayton, who is the President of VMware User Group. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I want to start with you, Karen, and talking about the job of the CIO, which has just gotten exponentially harder in, over the years, because there's so many uh, technology decisions to make, investment decisions to make, what, are, what do you see as the as what is keeping them up at night, and then how do you advise them? Well, I, I do think their job is getting more and more complex, and um, I also think that technology is accelerating at such a rate now that their jobs are bigger, they're global, they're fast changing, and so many of them are at the epicenter of the transformations that they're leading for their companies. So what I see from them is, and what we hear from them all the time is, they really want the full value proposition of Dell Technologies, so we can help simplify their worlds. They want less partners, they don't want more. They want a company that can help them integrate and bring integrated solutions to solve some of their most pressing problems. And they have a really, really um, tough job, but um, I think it's a, it's a great time to be a CIO because of the role that technology is playing in so many ways to change their businesses. Do you see these companies in being far along in the digital transformation process? Where, do you, where are most companies in your estimation? Do you know, I think, it, I think it depends, honestly. I mean, there are some companies that you they, they are on the forefront of it. You see a lot of that in financial services, candidly, where they, you know, they've, they've moved, everything is to, to an app, they think about the, the, the customer experience, they're leveraging technology, they're thinking about how to secure every single aspect of it. Then you hear from other CIOs that, wow, they just feel like they're playing catch up. And I think it's a world that's changing so quickly now that I think these CIOs um, are just living paranoid in that I want to be in the forefront of change. The change is happening very, very quickly. There's not a day that goes by, there's not a new technology solution that they're hearing. And that's when they're looking to a company like, like Dell Technologies to really help them make sense out of their journey, what makes sense for their business, and how we can help them along the way. So Ben, tell us about your role at Vimo. Um, my role at VMUG is that I'm the president of the board of directors. So um, VMUG is an independent, uh, customer-driven organization. We have 130,000 uh, people worldwide, um, and as such, we you know, we, um, we have a board of directors and, and we have leader, uh, 130 lead, leaders worldwide. And, and then, like I said, I'm the, the president of the board that you know, provides oversight for that organization. So that's a massive user group. Goes to the popularity of uh, VMUG. I'm a huge fan. It's been in my client in the past. Let's talk about the inverse. From VMUG is about the practitioners, so the ground up. What has been, I think, the the excitement or the tone around the new t Dell Technologies and Dell EMC? Yeah, I think it still is about the ground up. Um, the Dell Technologies community um, just provides us a, a bigger base of people to interact with and uh, users to interact with. Uh, ultimately, we're all about community. Um, VMUG started as a, you know, a handful of, of technology enthusiasts that were just really passionate about the product. And, um, and, and that's not going to change. And uh, nothing about the, the agreement with uh, Dell Technologies uh, user community is changing as far as that's concerned. The, the real opportunity I see is it just gives us a bigger base of, of users uh, to work with and, and you know, to really evangelize the different product set. As a, personally, I'm a, a customer of, of four out of the seven uh, um, technologies, so it's nice to be able to you know, 
know that there's going to be kind of a common thread among the user groups. Uh, I can hop between one or the other, or you know, as many as I want, and really get to interact. So I, I think ultimately it's just going to be about growing the community. So a lot of the messaging from the, and this question is for both of you, the, a lot of the messaging from to this week's conference has been digital transformation, a lot of buzzwords, but from a pure user perspective, we like, we, you know, Chad earlier talked about not turning the uh, nerve knobs and, and uh, messing with settings. VMUG is all about nerve knobs and vSphere <laughs> and installing ACLs, et cetera, et cetera. How is the user community adjusting to this new digital transformation uh, in the industry? Well, I'll let them talk about it from a VMUG perspective, but you know, the, the announcement that we made here today was largely taking the great role model that we have in Ben and VMUG and taking this user community to other parts of the Dell technology portfolio. I personally was part of um, the magic that VMUG demonstrates when I was at VMworld. Um, back in the late August, kind of early September period of time. And it, it, it's magical what 130,000 of these end users can do and how we can help them with their, their digital transformation. So, you know, we, we announced here today that we're going to take this framework, we're going to take it to other parts of the Dell, Dell, Dell technology. So, our precision users are hyper-converged, um, our high performance compute solutions, our boomy user groups, in addition to what we're doing with VMware is, um, is really incredible. And we see bringing these communities together and really helping with their digital transformation. Yeah, and as VMUG, what you said is exactly right. I mean, you know, we are a group of people that like to get their hands dirty and play with the knobs. I think, you know, what, what this agreement or arrangement does is just gives us a lot more knobs to play with. <laughs> we like knobs. What do you hope to achieve as president? Give me your, your strategy, your platform. Um, I would like, I mean, ultimately I just want to keep growing the, the organization. I think um, the, the partnership that we have right now is, is a wonderful opportunity to do that. Um, I think we have, you know, the industry's changing, so obviously the user group has to change as well. And um, I think this just gives us a lot more opportunities to, to evolve and ultimately come out stronger than before. And so, you know, by the time I'm done with the presidents, that's what I hope to look back on, is just, you know, I want to see the Dell Technologies user community be as successful as VMUG has been. Karen, I want to talk to you about the technology gender gap. I mean, this is a problem that has gotten a lot of ink, particularly in recent years. You are a passionate advocate for getting more women into this business, particularly in leadership positions. What, first if you can break it down, what you see are the single biggest contributors to the problem, and then also what companies like Dell EMC can do to get more women in the pipeline? Do you know what, I think if there, if there was one answer, I think it would have been solved a long time ago. I mean, at Dell, we think about our commitment to diversity and, and inclusion in really three areas. Um, communities, culture, and commitment. So from a community perspective, you have to show up at some of the events. You have to partner with some of the leading organizations. We've been doing that with um, organizations like Catalyst in the case of women and you know lots of other organizations for other affinity groups. Secondly, you have to have commitment. And Adele, the commitment starts with Michael and it starts with his executive leadership team. Um, Michael runs our Global Diversity Council. We meet many several times a year. We talk about goals, we talk about priorities, we talk about the things that we want to drive across the company. Um, and then the third piece, which in my opinion has really been the game changer at Dell, is around culture. You have to create a culture where individuals of different ages, ethnicity, races, gender, I don't, you know, across the board, we live in this all global world, have to feel like they can come to work every single day and be themselves. We trained um, a, a number of our executives, we're going to be rolling that out over the course of the next year or two, around unconscious social biases, and we all have them. Every single one of us has them. To be, it's to be human. It's to human, have bias. right? I mean, yes. you're, you're raised with them, you're socialized, you see it in the media. 
But it's how you respond to those. It's how you lead your teams through those. It's how you call out the bad behavior that is not making a certain individual feel like he or she can be, you know, them, them, themselves. And then I think the biggest opportunity, candidly, in the area of technology is we just, we, we need pipeline. We need more girls, we need more minorities graduating in the area of science and technology and engineering, um, so-called STEM. Go and look at the, the, the numbers around the percentage of, of women that are graduating with computer science degrees. It's on a downward slope. We gotta, we gotta change that, and we gotta make it exciting for these, these girls who wanna go to college and get a degree in technology, because technology is everywhere. And we're going to change some of the paradigms and some of the stereotypes of what they thought were the traditional computer science jobs. So Ben, one of the things I'm really excited about with VMUG, we talked about just diversity and, and inclusion in computer science. VMUG has, is providing access through the VMUG Advantage program. Can you talk about VMUG Advantage for a, a minute? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the nice things uh, about being partnered with VMware is they provide us opportunities to you know, pass along values to our community, and one of that is uh, the VMUG Advantage. And uh, with the VMUG Advantage, um, the people that purchase it can get uh, user licenses, you know, for lab licenses um, to test out, you know, get their hands on the technology and, and really play with it in, in a, a hands-on way. Um, most recently, we, we uh, got NSX, which is, is a, a big win for us um, because people are, are curious about the technology, but a lot of the uh, you know, the users are having a hard time getting the companies to adopt it. So, by being able to get the license and playing with it, put it in, installing it in their hands-on labs, and really getting uh, down and dirty with it, it really helps. So, I think it helps out everybody. It helps um, helps the individual, you know, broaden their you know technical skill set, but it also helps uh, you know VMware get their their product out and, and get the technologists familiar with it, so they're comfortable going to the you know the decision makers and saying, hey. You know, I've installed this in my home lab, it works great, we should really you know, take a deeper look at it. So I think ultimately it, it benefits everyone. We should all get our hands dirty with exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Those knobs. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> ben, Karen, thanks so much for joining us. This Thank has been you. really a lot of fun. Absolutely, thanks for having us. I'm Rebecca Knight. For my co-host Keith, Keith Townsend, we'll be back with more from Dell EMC World after this.